welcome back to the Abby Zardos. Today we have something very special for you guys. We are going to make a chocolate covered strawberry mug bouquet. It is gonna be a great addition to whatever you guys wanna use it for. It'll be great to give it as a gift. So let's get to it. We went to the Dollar Tree and I ended up finding this mug. So it was only about a buck. I already washed my strawberries. Remember guys, wash your strawberries the day before, put a little bit of vinegar, let them soak. Take them out, put them in the refrigerator, and they'll be good for the next day. Ferrero Rocher, Rocher. Ferrero I can never Rocher. get this damn candy right. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. I did go to Michael's and I also found these sprinkles and then the little the little dots. Candy milk. And of course you guys know me by now. I ended up going to the Sugar Heart and I bought some more luster dust. The sturdy pearl, blue pearl. Oh, and I can't wait. The rose gold. We're gonna go ahead and melt our chocolate and we'll be right back. Okay, we already melted our chocolate, guys, and you want it to be very smooth. And we're gonna dip. What I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna go ahead and glitter it right now that it's wet. And I'm gonna use the sprinkles, the white um, sanding sugar. And now we're gonna use the, the rose gold on the other one. Now with this one, I'm gonna do one side of the sanding sugar, and then the other side, I'm gonna do it with the rose gold. So now that we've already done these three, I'm gonna go ahead and dust these other three with the luster dust. So we're gonna get our little brush and I am gonna pour some of the blue pearl. Oh, not that much, not that much. And we're gonna go ahead and dust this strawberry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the rose gold. So I'm gonna pour a little bit as well. I'm gonna get these candies and then I'm gonna hot glue the stick to the bottom of the candy so that way they can also go in the in the bouquet. So we wanna make sure that they stick very well. So now I got like this foam. I got it from Walmart. Or you can get it from the Dollar Tree. You can get it from anywhere. I did wet it a little bit because I don't want it to um, break because it is a little sandy. So I'm gonna just put the cup and I'm gonna kind of like measure it down like this. And then I'm gonna cut right there where it made its little mark. So on the inside, it does look a little ugly, but nobody's gonna see that. So we're gonna cover that up. I ended up buying a cricket, I did that, but I did. And I ended up printing out this little sticker. It's a Happy Mother's Day sticker. And I'm gonna put it on the mug just for decoration. And we're gonna go ahead and put it right here. You wanna make sure you clean your outside of your cup with alcohol before you do this and it's a clean surface. And if you do have a Cricut Air too, the one I have, they have this in your little designs. It's a template. It's a template, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and start putting our strawberries in there. I am gonna cut them probably right there. And we're gonna start kind of just putting them in. I'm not gonna put them in all the way. And then I'm gonna use this to follow my um, my cut. And now we're gonna go ahead and put in our candies. Just be very careful. Then I'm gonna get some little roses. I got these at the Dollar Tree as well and I'm gonna cut them. I want them to be a little long because they're gonna go in the middle. We're gonna put these right in the middle. I also make these on my Cricut as well, so I'm just gonna kind of throw it, throw it in there wherever it fits, like that, and then a cute little butterfly. 
And there you have it guys. This is so cute, so simple. It doesn't need that many ingredients. Of course, I was running around like a chicken with a head because I, I always do that. With that being said, we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.